Edge Pro 2.0 in hollow construction. Uh, we're going to talk about what we've changed compared to the first Edge Pro that we did. Um, to start on the top, there's a fairly large difference in the nose. We've got a lot more volume. Um, we're able to do that without sacrificing the board weight because this board comes in hollow now. So yeah, we can make the boards pretty high volume and and have that um, versatility of the volume in a little bit of choppy water. Um, and the board's no heavier than, than the lower volume board. So that's something that we uh, incorporated when designing this board. Um, the rocker, the nose rocker is pretty similar to the old one, has a tiny little bit more rocker um, because it's just a little bit more versatile than the first Edge Pro and will handle the bumps a little bit better. Um, coming through to the dugout section, the recess in this board is even deeper than the first one. Um, it's a little bit to do with the bottom shape. We can, we're able to stand deeper. We're able to stand a fair bit deeper without water coming into this one. Um, and that adds to the stability. So we gain more stability there. We can make the whole shape a little bit slipperier and just generally have a faster board for the same stability. Uh, coming back, the, the step up is a lot more aggressive than the old board uh, because a lot of the faster guys and more skillful paddlers are, are paddling this board in, and kick turning it in conditions that we never really thought we were going to design this board to do but it happens to turn better than we thought so it's a it's a something people can use now a flat water dugout board that they can use in choppy water and they can get up high in the back and kick turn it pretty easy um, I guess this little wing section stands out a lot to everybody and it looks a little bit extreme uh, but really it's just a practical sort of common sense way to have a lot of width here for when you want to kick turn the board and still have the, the massive benefits that we're getting from a pintail. So we're gaining very noticeable speed difference compared to the first Edge Pro and all the flat water boards we've tested this one against so far is um, it's pretty remarkable the speed we're getting out of this board in the flat water and the small chop as well, um, which is where the pintail really comes into its own when you get a little bit of choppy water and the back of the board's just not grabbing, it's just it's just cutting through waves even better than the square tail boards. Uh, we'll flip it over. Yeah, so this is the magic section where we get quite a lot of speed from. Um, pretty pulled in tail, quite thin and round. Um, and yeah, we've got this section, it's kind of like training wheels on a bike. So, you know, when you get a little tippy and this grabs, it gives you that stability you need. But generally when the water's flat and calm, you can keep these far out of the water and, and just glide pretty effortlessly. Um, so this section's rounder and obviously thinner than the square tail board. And it comes out and the water line kind of comes through this section and then thins out. And through here, we've got pretty round lines through the rail and into a concave through the middle. I don't know if you can see that concave. But it's all pretty round and smooth, so there's no hard edges on this board. Um, and that's helping a lot with just the effortless glide we're getting. Especially over a bit of distance when you get tired, it just keeps keeps going. Um, the nose section is pretty similar to previous Edge Pro boards. Round rails, so forgiving in the side chop into a pretty pointy nose. And obviously being a flat water priority board, reasonably low rocker. Um, and yeah, that's about all I can think about for this board. Can we just flip it over, Benny, or maybe we'll compare just the bottoms yep. a little bit? Mm. <coughs> yeah, so you can see through this section, it's pretty similar. Both boards, just built for speed, really, and forgiveness with these round rails. But from here on, it's changing a lot. So this board's got a pretty flat section through here. And this section's we've got a concave through the middle, round rails, so we're gaining stability with the concave, which you need to gain because the speed we're gaining from the pin tail at the back, we need to um, gain the stability somewhere. So we've got that concave there, which helps give the board the overall stability. And 
the difference through the tail is pretty obvious. <laughs> Obviously, once the waterline starts coming in on the old board, through here it's still quite wide. Um, and you know, this board is pretty fast in the flat water, and we, we, we all loved it, but um, we're not really paddling it much anymore <laughs> since, we, since we've got this one. So the speed difference is pretty impressive, and it's still kick turning, and the pintail is handling the choppy water much better than the, the square tail. I mean, all this volume in the board at the back when it gets a bit choppy, kind of pushes the board like this, whereas the flat, the flat, the new flat water board with the, the pin tail, pin nose just cuts through pretty effortlessly. Just noticed a little bit difference with the Venturi covers on the new board as well, as opposed to the old one. Yeah, so the new boards drain faster, they don't let water in, which is another reason why we can stand deeper and have more stability. So just on the hollow banding, we'll flip this back over. So difference between say this board in the hollow construction and maybe in the foam construction. I'll see this is hollow by the way. Yep. Got the little vent plug there. Yeah, so the most important thing is that the hollow boards are faster and they get that speed because they're super stiff. And so they're super lively, so you get value for every stroke. Every bit of power you put in, you can feel the board go. Um, the stiffness is, it's crazy. Um, there's no wobble in the board when you jump up and down. Uh, the board's harder, stronger, lighter. <laughs> so, I mean, it's... It it's, sits, sits a little higher in the water Yeah, it does as float well. a little higher with all the air inside, which is obviously giving you less wetted surface area, which is obviously going to be faster, so... Um, yeah, I mean, hollow really is the future for us. Um, we don't see any alternative, really. So it's a it's a good board in the, in the foam construction, just dramatically better in the yeah. hollow construction. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Cool. No worries.